What's up guys, J3V here back with another video and today I'll be talking about the best gadgets that you should definitely use in Genshin Impact. This way, you can get through the game easier and collect a lot of more rewards. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my next video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so, I think one of the most useful gadgets in this game is the NRE which you can get from the Mondstadt Reputation Rewards. After getting the recipe from the Mondstadt Reputation Reward, you need to go to the blacksmith and forge that NRE in order to use it. Okay, so, how do you use the NRE? Well, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to the backpack, go to this gadget area right here, and then you press the NRE. Then you just choose which HP recovery dish you want to use. So, for example, I'm equipping the Sweet Madame, maybe I want to change into the Hash Brown, so I just press this and it will change. Now if I press it and I can select the Sweet Madame again and it will go back to the Sweet Madame. Same thing goes for the Revival Dish, so I'm using the Fried Egg, if I want to change it into a Steak, I can just press the Steak. And if I want to change it into the Fried Egg again, I just press it and it becomes the Fried Egg again. And then you press Equip. See, now it's Equip, it's very simple. But what does the NRE do exactly? Well, it's very simple to use actually. All you have to do is press Z on your keyboard and then it will heal your characters or revive them. Here, let me show you. So I'm letting my Xiangling get hit on purpose. Now Xiangling is dead. Now just wait. If I press Z here, it will use up one fried egg and Xiangling will be revived. Now if I go back to Xiangling and I press Z three times, she will be healed and I will use three Sweet Madams. It's very efficient when in combat because you can heal and revive almost instantly. So, next up on this list are the treasure compasses. There are two types of treasure compasses in this game which is the Animo and Geo treasure compass. Which you can get from the Mondstadt and Leo reputation rewards. After getting the recipe from the reputation rewards, you need to go to the blacksmith and forge those treasure compasses. And then you can use it. So using the animal treasure compass is very easy. You just need to equip it. And then you press Z. And it will show a line to where the nearest treasure chest is. All you need to do is follow straight. Just follow where the line is pointing. And then you will find a chest. Wait a second. Let me break this rock using my bennet first. And there you go. You get a chest. So the same thing applies for the Geo Treasure Compass. You just need to go to the backpack and equip it. After you equip it, you press Z. And it will also show a line to where the nearest treasure chest is. Just go straight. Just trust the line. It will never be wrong. Just go straight. Exactly straight. Even though there is nothing there, you think. But as you can see, there is chest. There's always a chest. Now, moving on to number 3, is the Animoculus and Geoculus Resonance Stones, which you can also get the recipe from the Reputation Rewards. After you got the recipe from the Reputation Rewards, you should just go to the crafting bench and craft the Geoculus and Animoculus Resonance Stones. You should also craft more than one so that you don't run out because these things are consumables. Now, using these Resonance stones are also very easy. For example, with the Animoculus Resonance stones, you just need to equip it from your backpack and then press Z. There will be this cool animation and then, wow, just open your map. And you see the circle? There's an Animoculus there. Usually the Animoculus will be at the center. So just go to the center of that thing and you will find an Animoculus. Pretty simple, right? Same goes for the Geoculus Resonance stone. So. Next, we have the Portable Waypoint, which is a very unique gadget that you can get from the Mondstadt Reputation Rewards. After getting that recipe, you should go to the crafting bench, and then you choose the Portable Waypoint, and you craft it. It is relatively easy to craft and don't need like sophisticated materials. But, well, you might wonder, why do you need a Portable Waypoint when you can just teleport? Because there are teleport waypoints in this game. Why do you need to place one on your own? So let me give you an example. For example, you want to farm the Geo Hypostasis, which is very far from a, from a waypoint. 
you see I'm just using my Ganyu to make a bridge here and it will also take a long very 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 long time so just let's just wait until I get there but you see how long this is yeah it's taking a long time to get to a boss that well you need to farm a lot of times maybe in a single day walking that far would would be boring so if you arrive here once you can actually just simply press b into your backpack and then use the portable waypoint now that is a teleport waypoint you can directly teleport there so for example uh, let me just go oh yeah this teleport waypoint disappears after seven days so you have to put it there again if you still want to use it now for example let me go back to monstat teleport there wait for it okay so now maybe i want to go back and farm that geo hypostasis now I have a teleport waypoint there, the portable waypoint, so I can teleport directly there. I don't need to swim that far or shoot ice with Ganyu because I can just fight it directly. Amazing, right? Last but not least is the parametric transformer, which is a very useful item, I think. It gives you free rewards for useless items. So let me just show you here real quick. And a huge tip for you guys, you need to power up the parametric transformer with elemental energy. You could actually just place it in front of this electro crystal and it will charge up the parametric transformer for you. So you don't have to shoot it or attack it like crazy. So just place it like that, press F, and now you select items that you don't want to use. like. Iron chunks are you basically useless to me. I will not use that to upgrade my weapons. Meat, I have too much meat, so let's just put some in. And also maybe some sunsetia because I never eat that. And then that iron chunk just now. Then you press initiate transmutation and all those items will disappear so now you see the electric crystal are charging up the parental transformer maybe i can help it with my gun you a little bit to make it faster and yeah that's it you get some free books and heroes wits for basically some things that you will never use pretty good resource generation right okay guys that's it for the video today be sure to like this video if you find it useful or helpful and maybe you can press that subscribe button if you want to see more of my future content. That's it for me today. See you next time. Peace out.